Yeah, we just were drinking some wine one night. <laughs> Um, but it's kind of the problem solution and um, I kept reading about and going to city council meetings where people complain about the radiation uh, from smart meters and I heard a lot of people complain about it and I heard a lot of people say they had bad health effects from it. And I come from an electronics electrical background working in RF and, um, and I understand how that works and I said well geez if people are complaining about it why not just shield it with something that blocks that wavelength of uh, radiation. Um, and it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do, and so we, we went through a few iterations of design and developed this to block that and solve a problem with people that didn't want to be radiated. Okay, now it's higher. So that's 30, 40,000, 50,000. Let's put this on it and go for it. Take it off. So that's like 25,000, 30,000, 28,000, 26, 27,000, 30,000, 19,000. So go ahead and put that back on and we'll. Uh, Basically what it does is that um, this wire mesh stainless steel shield contains the microwave radiation that comes out of there. The wavelength can't get through this grounded metal shield and so it basically contains it within there. You can see that one or two percent leaks out um, but that's fairly normal. Um, but it's just the, 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 the um, the microwave radiation can't penetrate that shield. Is, but that one or two percent allows the meter to communicate with the receiver on the telephone pole somewhere, so pg and es not going to come tear this off your meter and tell you you can't use it. You can see that 50,000, 55, 48,000. Pretty constant now. So let's go ahead and put this on. And so here you can see this is my energy usage by day. And this is with the smart meter on. So this is September 23rd. You can go back a day and go back a month. <laughs> That's with the shield on. <laughs> this is with the shield on. It's reading the data. Right. You the shield's been on for what, four months? Five months? Five months. Five months. Since people don't like the radiation, the utilities companies have come up with a solution of opt-out. You pay $75 and $10 a month and they will put the old analog meter in. The problem with that is that you're putting cash out. You're putting $75 out, $10 a month, that's $120 a year plus $75 that you put out. So over about five years you've put in over $600 which is expensive, it's an ongoing cost. With this, it's a one-time cost of just a little over $100. You can put it on, protect yourself, and then if you ever move, you just simply take it off and bring it with you if you like. And the other thing that we wanted to do is make something that was extremely easy, simple. Um, if you go online on YouTube, you see a lot of home solutions. You can go to the store, buy, mash, duct tape stuff on. But there's a lot of people that aren't able to do that. And the litmus test that I use is my mother. So if my mother can put this on um, and uh, without any problems, without tools, without assembly, then it's a solution. So what we try to do is have something that is extremely simple, easy, put on and blocks it. So you're not duct taping. You don't go to the hardware store and try and cut out screen or duct tape aluminum foil. It's just Simple. My mom could do it. Go like this. And it blocks it. We don't know if some of the other solutions work or not because we've never tested them, but we do know some of them require drilling into the meter itself, which doesn't seem to be a smart thing to do. 
Some of them are, we believe, a lead-based paint that you put on the interior wall of the house and then put your normal house paint on top of. Um, there seem to be a lot, one of them is a plug-in into your outlet in the house and we don't have a clue how that one works. Mm -hmm. But we know this one works. Yeah. And it's, it, it's a simple, simple concept. So um, you can see that this meter is radiating. Um, we've developed this shield to block the radiation. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about it, we have a website. It's called smartmeterguard.com. So this is a little guard, and you can visit the website and find out a little bit more about it, and uh, go from there.